We all want to be rich in Bloxburg, so today I'm going to be showing you the do's and don'ts of becoming rich in Bloxburg. Let's get started. So as you can see by my massive house, I am a rich player. I'm not saying that to brag or flex, I'm just mentioning it so you can see all of these tips worked for me. And the house that I live in is worth $3.1 million. And as you can see, it is pretty massive. So let's start with the do's. So the first do is probably the most popular and obvious way to make money, and that's why I'm starting with it. So most of you know what one of these is now, it's a mood station. If you work with your moods on full, then you earn about 50% more money. So the way to keep your moods up while you're working is to use something called a mood station. So you're gonna select the plot that is right behind Pizza Planet. If you can't select plots, then that's fine, but this is the most ideal place. So when you're working, you can drive up to your mood station and you can hop in the bath, you can have a snack. And this is honestly such a quick way because you only have to spend about a minute in the mood station Then you can hop back on your bike while you're still on the same shift and you can go and earn 50% more money. Now I've already covered this one on my channel before, but that's just because it's the most effective method. But let's move on to the second do. Now this is a really simple little tip, but I thought I'd include it anyway. You should set work goals for when you're working in Bloxburg. So for example, let's say you wanna earn minimum 50,000, then you should not stop working till you've achieved this. If you're just working to a random amount, then you're more likely to stop early. But if you're working to a goal, then you'll definitely carry on. And to stop yourself from getting bored while working, you can watch videos in the background or you can listen to music as long as you're still paying attention to the game but this is honestly really small but helpful okay so this next do is to go through your old plots and delete them i know this seems very obvious but look how many random plots i have here for example i have one called halloween kitchen i don't even know what this could be and look, this is just a completely random plot, which is worth 16,000. So if I go and delete this, I can get almost $10,000. And honestly, if you go through your old plots, you're definitely gonna find some to delete and you're gonna make quite a bit of money. And I did this the other week and look how many plots I saved up. So it's definitely worth it. So this next do is pretty obvious again, but definitely do log in every day and claim your daily rewards. Here's some quick maths for you. If you log in every day for five days as a premium player, you will get $3,600. If you log in every day for the month, then you will get $21,600. And if you log in every day for a year, well, you will be making $259,000. This is an insane amount of money for literally clicking log into Bloxburg. But not only this, you'll be making a ton of Bloxbucks on the side, which is just a bonus. And Bloxbucks can really help you to look rich. If we head over to my garage right now, look at this limo, these sports cars, and this lovely vintage car. These help so much to make you look rich. And if you're curious, if you logged in every day for a year, you would make 2,880 blocks bucks, which could buy you one of those vintage cars. So it's definitely worth doing it. Now on the same note as logins, we have our daily login streak trophies. And here's how much you get for each one. So if you log in for seven days in a row, you will get this trophy and $10,000. If you log in for 14 days in a row, then you will get this trophy and $30,000. If you log in for 30 days straight, so a month, then you will get this trophy and $75,000, guys. And combined, that's over $100,000 in less than a month. If we go into the catalogue and look at some expensive things, let's see what 100k could get you. Well, first of all, it could get you this Jeep. It could also get you this vintage car. And it could actually build you a whole house. And you wouldn't have had to work for a penny of that. Now, my last do before we move on to the don'ts is do take part in the events that Bloxburg releases. And the best example I can think of is the elf hunt. In the elf hunt, you are literally getting paid $2,000 a day for giving an elf a cookie or a glass of milk. Definitely consider taking part in these because you will end up making about $50,000 from this. So if you really do want to be rich, then take part in the elf hunt. Of course, if you miss it this year, don't worry, they do one every year. But now it's time to move on to our don'ts. So let's say I was building a part of my garden and I put a bunch of orange trees along here. And then I suddenly thought, oh, actually, I don't want these anymore. And I just deleted them. There, I've just lost about $2,000. Let's do that again. Come up here to the backspace button and click this. You will get 
all the money back you spent. You won't lose any money by deleting things. And that's because when you delete things in Bloxburg, you only get about 70% of the value back. So as you can see, if we were to do an example of my house, this property is worth 3.1 million. If I was to delete this, I would only get 1.6 million, which is almost half of the value. Now, obviously I can't backspace this whole house, but I was just using that for an example. Now, this isn't a way to necessarily earn money, but it's a way to save money and therefore become rich. Now, the next don't is most definitely don't buy money. I've spoken about this so much, but that's just because of how important it is. Look how expensive it is to buy money. If I was to have bought the money that I spent on the house I'm standing in right now, I would have had to buy this pack six times. That is 30,000 Robux, you guys. Nobody can afford that. Whereas I just worked for this money. Yes, it took me hours and hours, but I wasn't wasting so much real life money. I was just playing the game how it's meant to be played. And even if we're going smaller, if you even just want 50,000, that's 700 Robux, which is still like 10 pounds and $10, when you could easily work for 50,000 in maybe 20 minutes. So definitely never buy money, always work for it. Bloxbox, on the other hand, you can definitely buy because you can't really earn this other than through daily rewards. But for normal money, it's definitely a don't. The next don't is do not start a cafe or a hotel if you're genuinely looking to get rich. These are the kind of things you've built when you've already made a lot of money. You don't typically build a hotel or a big build like this until you're super rich. And that's because you're just not gonna make that much money from a hotel or a cafe. Let's say you spend $100,000 building it, then you're never gonna make that money back. And even if you built a tiny little cafe, you can only really charge $50 maximum for each thing. For example, fruit. So hold off on making the hotel and the cafe because this won't make you money. In the long run, you're better off going to one of these jobs down here and making your money the traditional way. I'm not saying don't make these in the future, but these are not a very effective way to get rich. Okay, so the next don't is do not buy things the second you've earned money. Let's say you've just worked for $45,000 and now you can finally afford the two cars you were saving up for. You go and buy them, you're so excited, and then suddenly, oh, you've only got $2,000 left and you're gonna have to go straight back to work. And you're probably not gonna feel very motivated after you've just saved up for these two bad boys. So rather than buying the things that you want straight away, first of all, always earn more than you're gonna spend because this way, then you won't have to go straight back over here, back to Pizza Planet and back on your bike. And second of all, don't spend money the second you get it or you're gonna be rich for two seconds and then you're gonna go back to being broke. Rich people know that you need to save your money before you spend it. And there we go, you guys. That was all of my do's and don'ts for becoming rich in Bloxburg. I hope some of these helped you out and I'll see you all next time.